Look, this is my third time doing this shit. My fucking dispatcher keep calling me interrupting. All right? I don't know if I don't, I ain't figured out the whole editing videos and shit like that. My other two, I'm just going to delete them to start over. Okay, look. This is just cooking on the truck. Okay? I'm about to try to cook something. Well, I'm about to start some food in the crock pot. I got on the hoodie because it's raining and it's cold out here in South Carolina for some reason. I don't know why. All right. We're cooking on the truck. You want to have some things that are just necessities. You got to have them. You can't go without it, okay? One is a crock pot. Two, I have is a rice cooker. Three is my George Foreman grill. These three items right here is going to be the best thing you can have on a truck. Period. Straight up. Hands down. There's no way around it. Okay? You're sitting in the truck. You're driving for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hours. Whatever the case may be. Alright? You can put your food in the crock pot. It'll be done the time you finish driving for majority of your trip. Alright? So, let me make this quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I'll I, I tighten up some of the stuff that I left out of may have forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Another sequel to this video. But this is just the basics on how to cook on the truck. From start to finish. I'll do a finish when the food is done later on tonight. For right now, this is just to start. Let me show y'all what it takes to cook on the truck. First of all, this is an inverter. Okay? You need this to do everything you need in the truck. That's from cooking to watching TV to playing video games for your microwave, for your cooking appliances, just everything. Okay, this at the truck stop will run you about 150 to 250. It took it cost 150 dollars for my company to install it. This is 1500 watts. That's what the 1500 means. 1500 watts. Think of it like an amp for speakers in your car. Okay, it's hooked directly up to the battery. That's where the cable is running down to the battery, the blue and the yellow. Okay, this has to be installed professionally. Do not try to do this or you're going to set some shit on fire or fucking some shit up. So, you new drivers, you, you get one of these, you get it installed professionally at the truck stop or some mechanic or your company will probably do it. And this is going to be your bread and butter on the truck. It's this right here. Okay, so... With that being said, I got my crock pot over here. Got the crock pot. Boom. It's a little crock pot. I'm going to drop a link in the description. All right. This on the bottom is the label. This is what I go by when I'm looking for my appliances. 95 watts max. All right. It's very important to pay attention to that. Very, very, very important to pay attention to that when buying your appliances. 95 watts. My inverter is only 1500 watts, so it pushes it. So it's cool. I lay down a t shirt, an old t shirt, a little cardboard, anything spill over, I ain't gotta worry about getting on my flow. You know, the cardboard I got from an old designing case. Old t shirt, you know where that comes from. This old t shirt. <laughs> now, this is underneath my truck. Underneath my bed. My bed is right here, okay? This is my bed. It's up here. You lift it up. You know, when you get in your truck, you see how it's all set up. This is underneath. Okay, this is my cooler you got to do whatever works for you what's best for you and have it works but for me this is how everything works and it, it works phenomenal this is my little pantry box i got my vegetables my canned goods pantry stuff simply over the canned goods the pantry items is all in there i'm not going to pull all that apart and shit like that you know later on tonight night when i'm getting everything else together i'll go off in that but this is my cooler where i keep everything in all right my cooler is coming apart got too much shit in here you know, but just give me a second. Okay, you see, I got my sandwich meat. Okay, these bowls right here, worth it. They're $20, but they're worth it. It's sealed airtight, no water getting inside this bowl here. No water getting inside this bowl. All right, that's something else I'll speak on is over the road appliances, you know, things that'll make your life easier and save you some damn money. Now check it out this is some roast beef i froze at the house it's still frozen this will still be good i gotta get underneath this ice because i'm finna make some oxtails so all right 
see this? See that date? It says 529. This is a vacuum seal bag, okay? I vacuum sealed this thing on the 29th of, this, of last month. All right. If you don't know what a vacuum sealer is, Google it. I'll drop the link in below in the description box for the Ziploc vacuum seal. There's other brands out there, but trust me, don't fuck with them. Do not fuck with it. Don't. The Ziploc is fine. This bag is fine. You know. It preserves your food twice as long. It keeps some water getting inside your food. All that extra shit, shit you just don't want happening. Now let me make this, let me tighten this up here, you know. Cause I'm trying to hurry up. I got a load that I gotta go pick up, man. This damn dispatcher guy, he's just so pushy, man. It's like, bro, I'm trying to cook. Man. Another thing with this cooler, it's very, very important. Shit. I got a thermostat here. Okay, you see this? This is my thermostat. This is my thermostat. I got it when I was doing refrigerated loads. Okay, I got another one somewhere in there, but this one is important because my meat is down here underneath all this other stuff. So I put it in there. It's cool. Your meat will be fine if it maintains a temperature of 40 degrees or below. It's like refrigerated temperature. You will be just fine with your food if it maintains that degrees. Okay, it's like keeping it in the refrigerator. Keep this damn thing closed as much as possible. If you ain't here, you want to drink, get your damn drink, get the hell out of the cooler. But keep it closed to keep the cool in. If you don't, the cool is gonna get out and it ain't gonna be cool no more. Then you're gonna be mad you got soggy ass meat. Uh, the ice is always melting. Now, let me get my gloves. Sorry, y'all, flip the camera around. I'm climbing up top because there's an up top bunk here, whatever, whatever. You know get some gloves because i'm gonna cut this bag open to uh yeah i use gloves i don't want the shit all over my damn hands hell no i don't give a fuck what you say you know i don't want the damn meat all over my hands that ain't cool you know because then you got to worry about cleaning your hands you don't want to do that you want to just get the meat in the pot get it going that's the, that's the game that's what you want to do just get the meat in the pot and get the cooking you know what I'm saying? Because then you use your hands, then you gotta worry about washing your hands and sanitizing your hands and all this stuff. You can just throw away the gloves. These gloves is cheap. They have Walmart too. You know, Walmart's gonna be your best friend. That'll be something else I'll talk about later on, maybe. In another video. Good pair of scissors. Oh, real quick. garbage bag always useful this is like a trash bag all right I'm trying to make this real brief all right now my crock pot is empty is good i'm not gonna use a crock pot bag they do have crock pot bags they're fine the reason why i'm not gonna use it is because i'm running low and i would like to use it for other stuff okay so get my scissors i'm gonna cut open this pack here bear with me right come on scissors get off my thumb all right now check it out okay this is what it is going to look like see this i already got my green peppers my onions all the other stuff in there the juices has been soaking in which is fine because you're cooking it you're cooking it down so throw that in the pot bam just like that no mess that's make that's what makes life easy. No mess. Boom, throw that in the garbage. You understand? Just like that. Hands is clean. Cool. Now I can just dispose of the gloves. Just like that. Boom. Give me a second, y'all. Cool. See that? Now, all I gotta do from here. Got my little plug thing, you know what I mean? I plug it up, like that. Plug that in there, throw the lid on it. Now I'm gonna turn this thing on. Well, what time is it now? It is now 2.02, five hours from now, I'll make it seven. Yeah, I would like to eat around seven o'clock. I don't wanna eat all 
11, 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna put it on high. You know, we're cooking in the crock pot. That's something you gotta learn. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not no damn chef. I'm not no chef, so. But I do do a thing or two here. And that's just the, the basics. That's just the starting. Starting up cooking in the truck. Okay, that's your basics. All right, I got my crock pot going. And uh, my food should be ready in about five hours, max. You know, I'm gonna ch I'm gonna set a, a timer on my phone for like two hours or whatever. Let me get my gravy. Get my gravy out of this thing over there, man. I feel like I've been on this thing way too long. But y'all, anybody, I'm gonna get on Facebook and I'm gonna do a live video and I'm gonna promote my shit and I want people to follow it and watch. Cause there, I get a lot of questions. Oh, what is it like doing the truck? What are you doing the truck? What are you doing the truck? Everybody knows what you want to do on the truck. You know what I'm saying? You know, so trying to put it out there, man. The information. Oh, I got more cream of chicken. I thought I had some. Oh, damn. I'm looking for my gravy, y'all. It's in here somewhere. Here it is. Cool. My beef gravy. All right. Yeah. So you know, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make a little live video and. This is for the people who know someone who's in trucking or know somebody who wants to get in the truck driving and they a little timid about it. They don't know, you know, this, they don't know that, whatever, whatever. This is for those guys, the new people. This is, I got my gravy, this is for later. So, look, I'm out. Cause I gotta go get this load and I gotta do my log. Load. So, this is part one, cooking on the truck in the 18 wheeler with your boy, Highway Hustler. AKA Highway Hustler. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do a law book video later. Right now, I got to do some other shit in my law book. You know what I mean? So, catch y'all later when my food is complete. I'm out. <laughs>